It is a peaceful land with a placid people driven to breaking point. They are impoverished by corruption, disillusioned by hypocrisy and stunned by the depths to which their country has fallen. Now many are thinking the unthinkable, mounting a revolution to topple a dictator. It is nearly 10 years since Ukraine won independence from the Soviet Union. This new nation of 50 million has revived its language, rebuilt its churches, and struggled to find prosperity and freedom. But under its president, Leonid Kuchma, the dream of a brighter future has faded fast. Kuchma was the communist head of Ukraine's largest factory, building nuclear missiles to annihilate the West. He has tried to rebrand himself as a pro-Western reformer, a Democrat and a Christian. It has not always been a convincing performance. Many now see him as an unreformed tyrant who has stolen the country's wealth and reduced them to poverty. This person pretends to be the head of the democratic state, but in reality he proved to be very authoritarian, to adhere to the old Soviet system of ruling the country. He is used to abuse power, not to adhere to the constitution, and uh, it proves that he is very corrupt. Serhei Halavati knows the man and the system well. He served as Kuchma's justice minister before resigning in 1996 and now campaigns for the opposition alliance, the National Salvation Forum. He sees Ukraine's leader as a thief and perhaps a murderer. And involved into a murder in the organization of perhaps murder of a journalist. It is not yet proved. <laughs> For the first time since independence, the streets of the capital Kiev have resounded to the cries of angry protest. Old have marched with young, socialists with liberal democrats, moderates with extreme nationalists. All united by the cry, Ukraine without Kuchma. The catalyst was evidence that Kuchma may have ordered the murder of a critical journalist. The journalist's mother, Lesi, has become the figurehead of the protests. Georgi Gongadze was a relatively obscure reporter for an internet news service. But he came to Kuchma's notice through scathing criticism and relentless probing of corruption. Just before Kuchma's controversial re-election in late 1999, he quizzed him in a panel interview about complicity in corruption. Nikoli, nikoli, nikudi, 
Last September, while driving home to his wife and two small daughters, he disappeared. Довгий час ми все таки надіялися, що ми побачимо його живим і знайдемо його. І я не могла ніяк повірити в те, що насправді сталося саме страшне. І я все рівно очікувала, очікувала якогось, якогось позитивного результату. To quell suspicions that Gongadze had been silenced, President Kuchma announced he would take personal control of the investigation. Last November, the decaying body of a man was found in this forest outside Kiev. He had been decapitated. Medical records and jewellery found on the body convinced his family that this was the remains of Georgi Gongadze. Now, with no evidence as to who the killer was, the story might have ended here. But what happened next was so extraordinary, it may yet change this country's history. No what happened was this tape. Opposition figures released the first of a series of secretly recorded conversations between Kuchma and his senior officials. Between chatting about vote rigging and organising bribes, they discussed how to get rid of the troublesome Gongadze. At one point, Kuchma suggests having him kidnapped by Chechen rebels. The opposition claimed a presidential security official had leaked the tapes because of disgust at their contents. While they don't reveal any direct order to kill Gongadze, the president's former justice minister is convinced that's what he meant. It is not necessary for the person of such a um, position, in such a position to give direct order. You know, it's enough a hint, but if we analyze all the conversations, we may conclude that that was not a hint. That was very clear instruction, repeated several times, and several times checked where, whether it was fulfilled or not. To get rid of Gongadze? Yeah. But are you sure it is Kuchma's voice? Are you yes, sure? absolutely, 100%. Within days of the tape's release, Kiev erupted in protest. President Kuchma denied he had killed Gongadze, claiming the tapes had been edited to incriminate him. It made no difference. The scandal sparked the biggest protests in the country's history. <laughs> President Kuchma has resisted all demands to resign, but has gone into virtual hiding, only appearing at controlled official functions where his security can keep protesters at bay. He has left his public defence to his relatively liberal Prime Minister, Viktor Yushchenko. We caught up with him at a rare press conference. Prime Minister, the National Salvation Front alleges that President Kuchma may have been involved in the murder of the journalist Gongadze. For the sake of Ukraine's reputation, shouldn't President Kuchma stand aside until the police complete the investigation? President Ukraine said that he is ready to be in the Bible, that he does not have a relationship with the journalist Ganadze. You know, I am a Christian, and I understand these words deeply. But the personal I am convinced that the president could not but the words on tape suggest a different story. At one point, Kuchma tells his interior minister, I'm telling you, drive him out, throw him out, give him to the Chechens and then ransom. On a later tape, Kuchma says, That Gongadze son of a bitch. Goodbye, good riddance. Serhei Halavati rejects Kuchma's claims that his words were edited. They were not doctored, they were not manipulated. They are genuine tapes. 
because we have we have got in our commission a uh, hundred of hours of these talks and there are there are long talks for the whole day of the president's meeting with the number of peoples without any breaks without any interruptions so they are uh, real and genuine But the protests are not just about the tapes. After a decade of independence, most Ukrainians have been left even poorer than they were under communism. The apparent wealth of Kiev, with its restored historic buildings and expensive Western stores, belies a deep poverty. In the eyes of most people, only mafia businessmen have grown rich under Kuchma. For the rest, life is a day-to-day -day struggle. Outside Kiev, conditions are more like the third world. Miroslava Svistovich and her husband Misha live in a one-room apartment with their two small children and occasionally her mother-in-law. Ну, например, мой муж, он начальник отдела валютного отдела в банке. Ну, это, наверное, в любой нормальной стране, это, наверное, такая, ну, работа, которая, ну, есть для семьи прибыльная, да, вот они, наверное, живут в нормальных условиях. А мы живем уже третий год в этой квартире, мы не можем себе купить за эту зарплату, которую он получает, ни мебели нормальную. Не говоря про то, о том, что для четырех человек эта квартира, ну, маленькая. И перспективно то, что в ближайшее время, ну, что-нибудь лучше станет в нашей стране, ну, практически никаких. <laughs> the family lives in the town of Erpin, 35 kilometers from Kiev. Like many in town, they've gone to Kiev for every protest. Erpin now has 40% unemployment. Those who have jobs are paid a pittance. Old people survive on near starvation level pensions. Young people are turning increasingly to drugs. <laughs> Yet this should be a wealthy country. It has huge natural resources and perhaps the best farming land in Europe. The main reason it's so poor is blatant, unashamed corruption. Здесь, как и везде, беспредел, чиновничество. Но дело в том, что если в большом городе это не так видно, не, э, вот так и здесь ну, маленький город, все друг друга знают, и э, все, ну, весь этот беспредел, коррупция, оно на виду. In Erpin, the local godfathers live in this plush street. The largest house belongs to a pro Kuchma member of parliament called Peter Melnikov. He recently sacked Miroslava from her state job because of her work for the opposition. Ну, если взять даже нашего Мельника, вот депутата, зарплата, по-моему, доллар триста, да? Да, но я думаю, что только отопление в этом доме стоит пол его депутатской зарплаты. Потому что, если вы заметили, он из двух частей, там за домом еще точно такой же. And you can see this in every town and city across Ukraine. Local officials who rob the community, while the elite in Kiev steal the profits of the country's natural resources. All of them posing as Democrats and reformers as they bleed the country dry. The protests have become a lightning rod for the pent-up anger of a decade of exploitation. Effigies of the president have become the target of their wrath. Tens of thousands have turned out for the marches in Kiev and Ukraine's second city, Lvov. The crowds are not big by Western standards, but this is a people conditioned by decades of communism to fearfully accept whatever is done to them. Now they feel they have nothing more to lose. But Kuchma is fighting back. 
For much of winter, protesters camped in freezing conditions on Kiev's main street, Preshatik, as a constant reminder of their opposition. On March 1st, without warning, police arrived to smash the protest. Ukraine's constitution guarantees the right of assembly and peaceful protest, but only in theory. Any who peacefully resisted were carted away. Their belongings were seized and trashed. At any moment, everyone may be arrested, put to the jail and killed in the prison without a uh, decision of a judge, without involvement of the judiciary, as it was in the years of Stalin. I don't know how to explain more, but it is very dangerous to live in such an environment for everyone who wants freedom. While police were quick to drag away protesters, they have moved at glacial speed to investigate Gongadze's disappearance. Because Gongadze's wife, Miroslava, continues to campaign for justice from the press centre of a small opposition party. Her office is filled with photos of her missing husband and their three-year-old twin daughters. She's endured continued leaks from prosecutors that her husband might have been killed by gangsters because of unpaid debts. У нас не було, у нас не було ніяких проблем ні з правоохоронними органами, у нас не було ніяких проблем з кредиторами, у нас ніколи не було ніяких фінансових, серйозних фінансових зобов'язань перед іншими людьми. І вони це знають, і це зафіксовано в матеріалах справи. І в той же час вони починають шукати якісь варіанти, починають копають якісь речі для того, щоб для того, просто для того, щоб принизити статус цієї проблеми і для того, щоб знову ж таки знайти аргумент для, зах... для ствердження того, що це не політичне вбивство. Прешу вище, шановні влади, що у нас демократична держава. But the official attacks on Gongadze's character have done nothing to dampen the anger. The main organizer, a Kiev dissident named Vladimir Chemoris, believes Kuchma could be toppled soon. Сьогодні почався новий етап протесту. Почалися студентські страйки. Студентські страйки почалися у Львові. Очевидно, що вони найближчими днями почнуться в Києві і в інших університетських містах України. І студентський страйк – це буде те, що, я думаю, найближчим часом, можливо, протягом місяця, двох-трьох, режим Кучми буде повалений. The largest protest last month showed how great the hatred has become and how little will there is on either side for dialogue. The occasion was one of Kuchma's unavoidable appearances, a flower-laying ceremony to mark the anniversary of the Ukrainian folk hero Taras Shevchenko. Kuchma arrived two and a half hours early to avoid the protesters, surrounded by a human wall of police. Protesters pushed and were pushed back as Kuchma quietly slipped away. The frustrated crowd then marched onto the presidential administration. They found their path blocked by hundreds of heavily armed riot police. All previous marches had been peaceful, but today would be different. Right-wing nationalists at the front of the crowd tried to force their way through. When that failed, they dragged back the metal barriers barring their way. Some hurled rocks at police. Then they charged. It was what the protest organisers had dreaded from the outset. Again and again, the front line of marchers threw themselves at police. Opposition leaders, including Vladimir Chemeris, tried to calm the protesters. Chemeris would claim later that police provocateurs had mingled with the crowd, intent on provoking violence to discredit the opposition. Перед цим, ще за день перед тим, в керівництво київської міліції звернулося до лікарень Києва. 
для того, щоб вони забронювали певну кількість місць, передбачаючи, що будуть жертви. Regardless of who provoked the violence, it's clear many in the crowd watched on approvingly as batons and shields were seized and stones were hurled. Among them, a senior opposition MP, Stepan Hamara. When the protesters moved back, the police moved forward to attack them. Chemerice stood stoically and passively at the front line. He was clubbed to the ground. Я пустив руки, не виглядаючи жодної агресії. Я вважав, що цим можу зупинити міліцію. Ну і після цього відбулася вже далі зіткнення. Тобто до мирних, тих людей, які мирно протестували, була сонна сила без причин. That night, police swooped on trains and buses carrying protesters back to their towns and arrested hundreds. Most were students who had played no part in the violence. Away from the cameras, many were beaten senseless. Undaunted, the opposition is continuing to mount protests, hoping they can wear Kuchma down before their own strength dwindles and the memory of a slain journalist fades. Your children are now three years old. When they're older, what will you tell them about their father? They know that they don't have him. Вони, але вони не усвідомлюють, що його більше ніколи не буде. І вони підходять до такого віку, коли я вимушена їм пояснювати щось. І я зараз насправді шукаю для себе таку відповідь, яка б могла, ну, яка б не стала для них психологічною травмою. І я ще її не знайшла. The death of Georgi Gongadze has given life to an opposition movement and stripped bare the facade of a democratic Ukraine. It may also have sparked a crisis that will shed far more blood than his own.